Hello everybody, it's been quite a while since I last talked to you. Uh, it's been more than a month and I uh, wanted to get a video out. Now I also have another video coming out soon um, that's not really woodworking related but I wanted to get a woodworking project out. Uh, so this is what I did. I built this small table saw sled uh, because I don't have my uh, my blade from my miter saw right now. It's out getting sharpened and that's I do have another blade, but that one's not very good, uh, so I want to wait for that one, my miter saw blade, to come back in. Now, I made this uh, just because I really needed to cross-cut some stuff, and also I thought in the future it'd be nice to have a table saw sled. Now, this has this cool adjustable stop lock that will go to both sides uh, and lock down nice and tight where you need it. Uh, it slides really well, and there's absolutely no play in this. Uh, so if you want to see how to make this, stay tuned. I'm first starting by cutting this piece down to just a little over 16 inches. Alright, so now I have two 16 and a quarter inch pieces. Um, I picked 16 and a quarter because that's the biggest I could get uh, out of these two pieces. Uh, and so this one will be used to make up the fences and this one will be for the base. Now this is a pretty small sled, uh, however, uh, I don't really need something too big because I usually have the miter saw, however right now that is out, uh, the blade is getting sharpened, so that's really what pushed me to make this little thing. Uh, this little sled, which I kind of needed to make anyway. Here I'm ripping this piece into 3 inch strips. I've determined for such a small sled, uh, 3 inches is really too big, so I'm going to go ahead and rip these down to 2.5 inches. You can now start to see how this thing is coming along. I'm going to have two of these in the back. Uh, that will just improve the strength and allow me more flexibility to be able to adjust it uh, and also there's going to be one in the front uh, and then this base piece and I'm also going to put a stop block in here so that's what we're going to do next is create uh, the grooves and uh, yeah, the grooves and anything else that we need in here in order to put that stop block in. Alright, so it was this piece that we cut that groove into, and what we have to do next is really glue or screw these two pieces together. So once we do that, uh, if I can find where I put that bolt, here it is. So this bolt uh, will have to cut another slot right here uh, that will just accept the thread, the threaded part, and you can see that that will slide right in there, uh, and then this can slide back and forth in that groove. After checking to make sure everything was nice and square, I went ahead and put some screws in the back. Alright, and finally I'm just going to put this screw in, and this secures uh, the front fence here, which I have clamped, and this is not too critical on alignment, it's just you want to make sure uh, that you countersink these screws so that they don't hit the, uh, the top of your table. I'm cutting the runners out of this piece of oak that I just had laying around. Alright, and as you can see, this is just a little bit big, and I expected it to be, uh, so now I just have to trim off a little bit in order to get it to fit in this slot. And now that I've gotten them to fit in the slot just right, I'm going to rip them down so that uh, they will fit uh, height-wise. So as you can see, these do fit in the slot, however, they're a little bit too tight, but I want them to be that way. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is just take them uh, and just sand them down a little bit, and that will help me uh, get the perfect fit that I'm looking for. Alright, so I cut down that runner into two 10-inch pieces, and these both fit in here and slide great. Uh, so now what I have to do is glue these uh, to the sled itself. Alright, so what I've done on this side is I put some pennies down, as you can see here, uh, and that just makes these uh, so that they're raised just a tiny bit above the table. So I can put this in here, just like that, and then I can set this up against the fence, line it up with this one, and then line that one up. And now I can do that again just with glue this time. Alright, and I put this little uh, pancake air compressor on there with some glue. Uh, just a very small amount of glue. Uh, I, you don't really need much. Uh, and now I'm just going to let that dry and then we will take it off and I'll put a couple screws in there for reinforcement. Alright, so those runners fit great. 
and there's very little play in here. And now what I need to do is make a partial cut through here uh, so I can reference where I need to put that back fence. Now I'm going to secure this corner here with just one screw. Um, and the reason behind just this one screw is that I can now move this side so I can get this nice and square to the blade before I lock the other side down. Alright, so the easiest way I find to check for square is just using one of these and butt it up against the blade uh, and the fence and then just checking for the gap along this front edge here. Alright, so now that I have this thing all set up, really, uh, it slides pretty well. It is a little bit tight, but I'm going to add a little bit of paste wax here. I'm just going to use a paper towel to do so, uh, since this isn't really a finish. It's just to uh, make this a little more slick. So, get some of that. And I'm going to put it all on the bottom, uh, which will hopefully help it. I'll also put it on the uh, uh, on these guides here, or the... Uh, um, runners. Alright, and there's one last thing I need to take care of, and that is to finish cutting this smaller slot out. Finally, I'm cutting this piece down to act as a stop block. And cutting this block to length is a breeze with my new table saw slide. Now in order to find where to drill the hole in this stop block piece, what I'm going to do is take the bolt that I'm using and just color it in some pencil. Now you want to make sure that you get the high spots on this, uh, which is usually the outsides. <sighs> and leave as much graphite on there as possible. Then you can slip this into the slot. And when you're all ready to go, just push this right on there. And you get a nice little circle. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but there's a nice little circle there that I can drill the hole out. Alright, so a couple things I didn't mention is I just did a little decorative angle on here, and I also counterbored this a little bit just so this wing nut could get enough grip on that bolt. And all you have to do with this is you don't even have to take the wing nut off, you just have to take this, slip it into the side, Lock it down where you need it, and you're ready to cut. Alright, so here it is, the completed table saw sled. Now this thing is great. Uh, it's going to be really helpful on some smaller pieces uh, to cross cut. Uh, I think I will actually start using this over that for small pieces. That will definitely be used for larger pieces. Uh, but having this table saw sled is really going to open up a lot of opportunities uh, for me to do different stuff. So I think this will really be helpful. Um, I've had a couple things, uh, or a couple times so far that I've just used the miter gauge and I really wish that I had um, a table saw sled. Uh, so that's about it and I really like this. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and also check out uh, some other videos over there.